Hold on to your seats, Vinland Saga Fan Season 2, Episode 13 is packed with suspense and action as the storyline takes a dramatic turn. The latest episode of Vinland Saga Season 2, Episode 13, begins with a harrowing scene of war. A burning farm is depicted in a tapestry, with dead bodies all around, including a mother shielding her crying baby. A man with a sword is seen preparing to kill another survivor, seemingly ignoring the mother and her child. The survivor manages to escape, but is chased by the attacker, who demands an apology and even offers him money as a sign of remorse. However, the attacker silently removes a knife from his chest, saying it's not enough to make up for the insults he'd suffered until then. The attacker, who is a slave, then suggests that the survivor becomes a slave, so he can understand how it feels. The survivor prostrates himself to the slave, offering to become a slave to save his life. The former slave accepts, saying that whether he lives or dies is up to him. The scene changes to the burning house, where the former slave's sword is stuck in his old master's back. The mother and her child have survived, and the former slave walks away, saying he must, go get her. The episode then introduces its new opening sequence, before focusing on Einar and Thorfinn. The two are walking and talking, with Thorfinn asking Einar if he's made up his mind on what he will do once they are free. Einar jokes about how he's been a slave for so long that he can't make a decision for himself. Thorfinn asks if this means he will stay on the farm, to which Einar points out that they don't have a good relationship with the retainers. However, staying here may eventually allow him to free Arnheid as well. Suddenly, Snake bursts out of Sverkel's house, looking for the old man, who is nowhere to be found. Snake reveals that Sverkel left for his farm this morning but still hasn't returned. Snake takes off on a horse, with Thorfinn and Einar following him to Sverkel's farm. At the farm, Snake finds Sverkel passed out in the field. Later, Sverkel is seen in bed in his home, pouring himself some water, and commenting on how he can now die in bed rather than in his field. Arnheid arrives as per her mistress' instructions, and she shares that she will be taking care of him from today onwards. The trio is presented with a massive feast by Arnheid, who is still in Sverkel's house cooking. The group eats, while Arnheid comments on their lack of manners, and Sverkel sits silently at the head of the table. Arnheid shares that she will be staying at his house to take care of him. Sverkel says he's not hungry, but his stomach rumbles right after he says this. The others laugh, as Sverkel demands they leave. Later, Arnheid and Einar are seen washing dishes together outside, and she comments on how she's happy to see what the old master is doing. Thorfinn joins them, and Arnheid comments on how she hasn't had such a fun meal in so long, saying it was almost like she was free again. Suddenly, Fox arrives on horseback, asking for Snake. A slave has escaped from someone named Kialika's farm, who treats his slaves poorly. However, Fox says it's not that simple, with the slave having killed Kialika and his sons and set his house on fire. Fox reveals that the slave is violent and dangerous and they are offering a reward for finding him, but Snake advises caution and suggests keeping watch in groups of three. Meanwhile, the escaped slave is walking in the night with a sword drawn and a crazed look in his eyes. Later, Fox, Badger, and another man circle the slave, who seems to be resting against a tree with his sword drawn. They are excited about their lucky day, while Fox warns them to keep their voices down. However, they ignore him and continue yelling and laughing. Badger even mocks the third man for being a wuss when he suggests calling for reinforcements. The situation quickly escalates, and the trio realizes that the slave has woken up and is swinging his sword at them. The scene then transitions to Einar, Thorfinn, and Arnheid doing various chores at Sverkel's house in a mundane fashion. Einar and Arnheid notice Thorfinn listening in a snake reads the Bible to Sverkel. Arnheid comments on Thorfinn being a Christian, but Einar clarifies that he's just interested in it. Later, Sverkel tries to get out of bed, muttering about harvesting wheat, but Snake reminds him that the harvest is over. He notices that Sverkel has soiled himself and calls for Arnheid, who is assisted by Einar. Snake comments that Sverkel has gone senile and probably won't live much longer. Thorfinn and Einar are clearly concerned, but Snake advises them to repay his kindness while they can, as his time is coming soon. The episode takes a shocking turn when a horse rider approaches Sverkel's house, and Fox and Badger reveal that it's the runaway slave and that lizard is dead. Arnheid recognizes the slave and starts running after him, calling him Gardar. Gardar stops and looks at Arnheid, calling her his wife. Arnheid's eyes widen in shock and fear as the episode ends. Vinland Saga Season 2, Episode 13 is a rollercoaster ride of emotions, and it's exciting to catch up on what's been happening on Kettle's farm since his departure. The introduction of the runaway slave, whose target is Arnheid, adds an intriguing layer of complexity to the storyline. Additionally, the episode sets up a potential opponent for Thorfinn, with Snake likely to fall at Garda's hands, forcing Thorfinn to realize that sometimes, fighting is necessary. Overall, it's an intense and action-packed episode that's not to be missed.
Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in comment section and please like, share this video and subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.